talking about Loki. Man. We just finished rewatching episode two. Man. We are. Hmm. Again, not, it's not shocked. Not shocked. It's just surprising to see how important this. The, out of all the shows, one of is important because it, it, that 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 tells you about multi uh, mm -hmm. multiple multi madness. madness. Loki is an important show. As is an important piece, an important cog in this whole factory, this whole machine that we're talking about. Yeah. And episode two is just more the same. We open up with Morbius and Loki. <laughs> okay, this was funny. <laughs> we open up with Morbius and Loki looking for X5, and apparently X5 is what's his name? <laughs> Brad. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm sorry. Bradley. Brad, Bradley Wolf, and in the world he's in, he's a actor, a famous actor. I famous think. actor. He basically left his post from the TVA and said, "You know what? Mm -hmm. We're all we're all variants." Screw this. I'm going to create my own life out there. And he became Brad Wolf. Didn't, didn't he say he was out searching for Sylvia and said... He was on a mission. Said, he was, he was on a mission. That's cool. This. He was on a mission. He was on a mission. And that's one of the things that they were talking about. That he left his post. He, ba he basically he aborted his mission and said, you know what? I want to make my own life. Okay, that, and that's why they made that comment. What's the punishment for aborting mm -hmm. a mission? Okay, I got exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. Because he, like you said, he was. they were on their way to look for Sylvie. And he said, mm, you know what? Because he, he had that aha moment. Like, if I'm a variant, that TVA world is fake. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah. getting, I'm getting out of here. That aha moment came in the last episode. You literally saw it in his face. When he was, uh, they, I don't know what you call that, that meeting room that they mm -hmm. were in. Everybody... Had their side, and he's sitting there, and you see him first, like, yeah, TVA. And slowly, he was like, wait, mm -hmm. we're all variants? Mm -hmm. this, I, I'm living a lie. They grab his temp pad, and they take it to OB, because they're trying to figure out how he's been doing all of this flim flam. OB... Obi's a funny character. How do you call like you say Obi. you say the name. You say the name. Ob Ob oh, 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 Ob 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 <laughs> He tells them what I'm working on right now because the what was it called? Excuse me. He was trying to fix the loom to avoid a temporal meltdown, and he was pretty much saying, "Does the temp pad supersede?" Me avoiding a temporal uh, meltdown, or what should I do? He's like, what are we doing? It's like, it's like, it's like you fix the temp pad. Here's the manual. Y'all go, y'all go do that. So that was a, so I like the OB moments. A little bit of comic relief, even though he's reminding you, uh, doom is in, impending doom is on the way. Speaking of comic relief, when OB and Casey met up, hilarious. We'll, we'll get, we'll get there. We'll get there. Hilarious. <laughs> the hunt for slay. The hunt for Ren Slayer continues. Ren Slayer. Uh, Casey. He he he's basically he's the like is he like what is he a librarian? Um, so he's not. He is more like a background guy, but they don't even understand how much knowledge he has. I don't want to say background guy. Like he's not. He doesn't have a. He doesn't have a, an an important position in the TVA. He's just one of those guys. Like okay, work your desk. You come in here, but come to realize. My man has a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm. like he's, uh, he's speaking, really speaking of knowledge, he's the one who says Miss Minutes is helping Renslayer. He's the one who tells them that because he's basically he's tracking down or trying to track down Renslayer's whereabouts, and he just keeps slipping. It keeps slipping away. He can't, mm -hmm. he can't catch up to her. Basically, good stuff. Good stuff. And we get into the interrogation. I, now, when we got into the interrogation of Brad. X5 or whatever. Breaking it, Brad. The name of the episode came full circle. I was like, Breaking Brad. Okay, that's funny. During the interrogation of Brad, Mo Mobius has a breaking point. And we were talking about this. And what I found about the difference between Loki interrogating X5, aka Bradley Wolf, and Mobius interrogating Bradley Wolf was that Loki kept his cool. Even though X Five was digging into him, X Five was digging, digging nasty stuff. Meanwhile, 
X5 digs into Obius and more excuse me, Mobius and Mobius damn near pip slap. Silly him. man. Silly man. Wow. Man. Silly man. Silly man. That I'm not gonna lie, that shocked me. I was like, Mobius, who is Storms out. Storms out. Starts walking to nowhere. He doesn't even know he's walking. The the the, the god of mischief mischief is surprised even. Well, Mobius, what are you? This not you. What? Why? Are you okay? I, I feel like you're judging me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they go have some key lime pie. They have a little intimate moment, which leads me into my character development segment of this talk. And are you not wowed by what Loki is becoming? This is. This is crazy. Uh, I'm more like, who is Loki? Who are you? He even even during that conversation while they're eating key lime pie, he's like, yeah, I've had moments where I've gotten emotional. You know, I first of all, first of all, first of all, the, the when he compared his moment that that, that was comedy. To what Mobius that was just, comedy in itself. First of all, all he did was slap the man. You destroyed a. A, a city tried to take over New York push, with, push, with a bunch push, of aliens. Push Tony off of a roof because the mind thing didn't work. Uh, this <laughs> and he's like, Yeah, I've lost control. Like, uh, uh, uh. But but back to what I was saying, the character, it, the it's wonderful yeah, character. to see, <laughs> it's wonderful to see what's happening to, uh, with Loki. And I mentioned it uh, back in season one, but you're seeing it a lot. It's here. more different, yeah, it's more, he's more into the, he's more. <laughs> Basically moving into the character he was at the end of Loki. Yeah. Because in the beginning of Loki season one, it was he was like, still oh, fighting. Oh, he's still he was still fighting it. Oh my god, he's still out here doing tricks and being retarded. Okay, all right. And all of a sudden now he's like, no, nah, I'm part of the TV. I'm trying to say I'm trying to save this universe. It's, it's crazy. To I'm see. trying to save this universe. Now I see what's going on because he. That's why him and Sylvie got into it because mm -hmm. he sees the big picture. He sees the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Whew. So, Loki finally gets Bradley to confess. They need to find Miss Minutes to access the machine because since Sylvie killed... He who remains. He who remains. What is, what is it? You need a retinal scan? A temporal scan. A temporal scan from a temporal living... Temporal or scan from him. Because a living him. Because it's him. Without him, they can't open it. And the second person that can open it is Miss Minutes. But Miss Minutes is missing. Where is Miss Minutes? There's Miss Minutes, but she's uh, she's with Renslayer helping her, I guess. Basically, you find Renslayer, you find Miss Minutes, or mm -hmm. vice versa. You find Miss mm -hmm. Minutes, you find Renslayer. Then we get into Sylvie. They find Sylvie working at McDonald's of all places. 1983 McDonald's. And to, that's like pretty much, that's her just trying to... Um, you said it. Live her life. Live Not her life. life. A, a life. life. Just a yeah. life, bro. Uh, it, it, that's not her life. She's she's a god of she mischief. Could, yeah, she could live any life she wants. She just wanted to live like Simple. working at McDonald's. Nine to five. My boss is older than me. She told him. She told him when when Loki came. He wanted to talk. She told him talk quick. Breaks talk quick because my breaks not that long. Right. <laughs> my she breaks. In oh, you want to talk? My breaks in five. She was fully into it. I like pop the trunk. The, to pop the trunk, like it's the small She's stuff. Living her life. The small. Okay, this is. Don't jump me here. This is movie quality stuff. Like if we take all of the Marvel shows, some are better than others. Mm -hmm. Loki is up there. This one's still like. Remember we talked. Loki got number one. Mm hmm. Loki's it's raining. Up there. It's raining number one right now. Mm hmm. It's crazy. After finding Sylvie working at McDonald's, they found out they are planning to bomb. The branch. Who's they? But they as in docs. <clears throat> wow, docs, docs, do wow, doxing. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. Docs plans to prune all the branch. I hate. No, she doesn't plan. They find out she's planning, and that's what she does. She's, she she basically uh, doesn't eliminate all, but a big majority because mm -hmm. Sylvie's universe that she was living in is still alive. It, yeah, it is. It is. It ended. It did. It did end with her uh, going, going back, back to a mm -hmm. universe. So we do what? What? Our, as far as now, as far as episode two, we're trying to track down where Renslayer and Miss Menaces and, Mrs. and Ob is trying to fix. Yeah, fix the machine to avoid a temporal uh, 
meltdown and whatnot. That's how we left off because he said, "Whatever we, whatever we're doing, we got to do it now. If it's if it's finding Miss Minutes, got it has to be right now because we're all gonna die. We're, we're all, all gonna, gonna die. die. We're all we're gonna, all gonna die. die. Oh hey, <laughs> we're all gonna die. That, <laughs> their, their, mo their moments are funny. Their funny moments in this in this show are funny. I like how anticlimactic <laughs> things have been, uh, uh, where Loki pressed Brad in the interrogation room." And then Brad just kind of douses the fire with, we need therapy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of, I was like, damn. And, and it's like, we're all going to die. We're all going to die. Oh, oh, nice to meet you. It's like, you were yeah, mad serious. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, they yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, nice yeah, to yeah. meet you. They, they do well. They're like, the, the writing is great. I, I can't and Like I can't you said, complain. it's like movie. The writing's great, but the, they're acting their asses off. Bro. Shout outs to the actors. Owen man. Wilson Big is, time. is Big like. time. He's um, different. Last episode, I said Hunter B15 was uh, holding it down. What? This episode, X5. X5, I'm like, yo, you're just, who Brad? are you? Brad? X5. You talking about Brad? Brad, yes. Oh, yeah, Brad I'm like, goes, who are you? What I'm, the heck? You know, it's funny. His name is actually X5. I'm, I'm over yeah, here calling he, him he, Brad he's Wolf. X5. He was. <laughs> I'm calling him Brad Wolf, the fake name he has in the universe. But yes, X5. He he was acting his ass off too. Wow, good the job. The room scene was crazy. Good stuff. Good stuff. He really like. I, I could feel the tension. Ugh. I could feel. I felt, no complaints. Mm. I can't. I can't wait. I can't wait for the next episode. No complaints. I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, I feel like that's all we got for the Marvel. Yeah, it is. The Marvel news. Hey man, I know Loki took a lot of the time that we were doing about Marvel, but I, I, there's a reason why. It's it's there's only two episodes out and it's so good, man. It's just so good. They do they they did a really good job. They're doing a really good job. Shout outs to the soundtrack. I see what y'all doing here. Oh, that song at the end of uh, uh, uh um, Janis Joplin, mm -hmm. Cosmic Blues. Oh, that song at the end of episode two. Y'all did that. A banger. Mm -hmm. A banger. Thank you. Yeah, that's yeah. all we got. Till next time.